what's going on everyone I am back here with another video <clears throat> and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer photos and videos from your PC to your iOS device using the Apple lightning to SD card adapter so this works both uh, with iPhones and iPads uh, but it will not work with iPod touches unfortunately so uh, the process for doing this is relatively simple but can be somewhat complicated if you don't know already how to do this so uh, yeah let's go ahead and get started so the Windows version that I'm going to be using uh, for this demonstration is Windows 8.1 now the process should be completely the same if you're using Windows 10 uh, Windows Vista or Windows um, 7 so uh, basically it should be the same for most of the recent versions of Windows so, but with that being said, let's go ahead and now get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is now plug in your SD card uh, into your computer. If you have an SD card slot, um, you can do it that way. But if you don't, you're going to need to use an SD card uh, reader that plugs into the USB port. So whatever you have, plug in your SD card, like so. Alright, and then once your computer recognizes uh, the SD card, uh, you can then go down and find... Uh, where the device is recognized so you click on it and we are now in here so once you're in the directory or the main directory of the SD card you now need to uh, create a new folder let's go ahead and right click go down to new and select folder and you need to name that folder DCIM enter so there you go um, now once you've created that folder you can now transfer your pictures and videos into that folder. So I'm going to be using these three items here. So I have two pictures and one video. So I'll go ahead and drag and drop uh, the pictures and videos that you want into that DCIM folder. There you go. So now once they are imported or transferred, uh, you now need to... This is where the tricky part comes in. You need to name uh, the images and videos in a very specific way. So for the first uh, picture you need to click on it and name it. Let's for this demonstration do DSC you have to do then underscore and then 0001 enter. And you have to make sure that you do three letters with an underscore and then you have to do three zeros and then the number one for the first picture. And then for the second image you do the same exact thing, so DSC underscore 000, but instead of putting a number 1, you're going to put number 2. And then basically the same thing for the third one, DSC underscore 0003. So, so on and so forth. You just basically um, organize or name the photos in a specific order, 0001, 2, and 3. And it has to be the same exact thing throughout the uh, all the images that you import. So you cannot leave the photos with the current name. So let's say this one says iPhone 5 on it. Um, if you left that uh, that name on that picture, uh, the iOS device would not recognize it and you would not be able to import it to your phone or iPad. So you have to make sure you get this part correct or you, it will not work. So once you have named the pictures and videos to what we need, uh, we can now then go over to uh, your the SD card reader and import them to our iOS device so before you eject the SD card you need to make sure you click this here and safely remove the device from the uh, computer so you don't corrupt any of the files so now I'll see you guys um, in just a minute and show you guys what you need to do next to try all right now that you have finished transferring uh, the pictures and videos from your PC uh, onto the SD card and have finished naming them in the correct order, um, we can then now proceed to transferring or importing the photos and videos onto the iOS device. So in this case, I'm going to be using an iPhone 6 Plus uh, for this particular video. Uh, but it will work with uh, many other iPhones and iPads. Um, I'll put the list of compatible uh, devices in the description below. Um, and I should mention again, 
uh, the iPod touches are not supported uh, with the SD card adapter, unfortunately. So you have to be using an iPhone or an iPad. And if you're using an iPhone, uh, you need to make sure that you're running at least iOS 9.2 uh, to be able to do this. So uh, with all of those things out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and proceed. So first thing, just get your SD card adapter and plug your SD card into the bottom portion of it like so. And then plug the lightning connector into your lightning uh, port on your device like so. So once you do that, then we just need to wait for the Photos app to automatically open, or you can open it uh, manually. Uh, either way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so there we go, the Photos app has now launched, and there are the th uh, three items that were transferred to the SD card. So the first one is that picture of the OS X uh, Lion, or excuse me, Mountain Lion wallpaper, uh, then this one here, and then that short little video. So now, as you can see, it did work. So now we can go and instantly transfer or import uh, those three photos and video onto our device. So now we can hit import, and there you go. Import has completed, and we are ready to go. So we can keep it or delete it. You can delete them off the SD card if you're uh, finished with them, but I want to keep them. Now if we go to albums, last import, and there you go. Uh, those three images and video are now stored uh, locally on your iOS device. And we can view them like so. So there's that picture there. There's that one. And then there is the little short video as well. So I uh, hope this video has helped you guys out. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's greatly appreciated. helps out the channel. Um, hit that like button if you like the video. Uh, let's me know that you guys are enjoying my content. Um, also, if you guys have any questions or comments or need help of any kind, uh, drop a comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. So, but yeah, that's basically it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.